Now in order to change the color of your sphere, you go over here to your shiny glossy red color and make sure that your lock transparency is active. And you can tell it's active right here by the little key lock in the corner. And go ahead and select your paintbrush, which gives you the best um, way to change color. And go ahead and pick any color you want. And because that lock transparency is on, all you have to do is color in and your shape will turn to this green color. And you notice all of your shading and highlights and reflections all happens to the same, um, it happens to everything. And now, hey, you know what? Because of this lighter green object, maybe your reflection's a little bit a tad too dark. So go ahead and you can play around with how, how much of a reflection you have in that object. And this will apply to any, oops, any color. Make sure you're on your shiny glossy and any color you want to put in there, you change the color of that sphere. Now the problem is, is you have your red sphere below that you want to be able to modify that. So you'll have to go ahead and take this object, merge all those layers down as we